Survivor, it is a powerful word, so simple in its meaning, and yet it is a word that evokes great strength and courage. My name is Yada, and I'm a burn survivor. The first time I came to the Children's Burn Foundation was for a support group. It has helped me process that my burns are a part of me now. They will always be a part of me for the rest of my life. The physical, emotional, psychological, social, and financial cost to burn survivors and their families is enormous and almost impossible to face alone. Yara, that's oxygen, Yara. The one memory I have is sitting across from my father. Um, his face was bandaged, my face was bandaged, and we just waved at each other. My name is Walter Gomez, Jr., and I'm a burn survivor. For the past 20 years, the Children's Burn Foundation has led the way for children who have endured devastating burn injuries. By paying for surgeries, transplants, prosthetics, and skin grafts, we have been a friend for any child who has been burned. But turning burn victims into burn survivors is really just the first step. It's because of you that we are able to provide this vital support. Together, we can change burn survivors into burn thrivers. My name is uh, Juan Gurrola, and uh, my daughter's name is Diana Gurrola. She's a burn survivor. I feel very cutely about the accident because she was in my arm like it is right now. I give um, even my life if she not go through all this. Each year, over 400,000 children like Diana, Yada, and Walter do go through all this. All right, ready, up. They endure multiple surgeries, painful skin grafts, months or even years of physical therapy. Becoming a burn thriver is a long, agonizing recovery process. We well, made it through the first treatment. That's all that counts. Tragically, some of these burns are intentionally inflicted. However, most are preventable which is why the Children's Burn Foundation has implemented our prevention and education programs, like Safety Smart Babies for Expectant Parents and Careful That's Hot for Caregivers and Teachers, as well as our L.A. Troop, and that's why you stole, drop, and roll. which has performed live to over a half a million children in the Los Angeles Unified School District. Thanks to your help, Children around the world now have a friend to turn to in the Children's Burn Foundation. We have expanded globally, providing medical assistance, training, equipment, and supplies in more than 40 countries. Here at home, your support enables us to address mental health issues in our therapy groups for children and their families, including the first and only support group in the nation just for teens. It was very difficult at first because therapy has really helped me a lot. Honestly, I don't think I would have uh, made it mentally without them. Mentally, it's a bit challenging because you don't have much of a check on your feelings. Obviously, the staring, the asking questions, the awkwardness. I consider them my best friends. And from two of them, one just completely stopped talking to me and the other would kind of push me when she knew I was injured. And it, it bothered me because even though she thought it didn't hurt, it still did. And her not appreciating my feelings made me feel not worthy of being treated like a human. You can't really get used to it, but I mean, the staff is great. Just knowing that you have someone to lean on, someone that's going through the same thing that you are, you know, it takes a, a load off of you. And if group therapy takes a load off, then programs like Camp Gung Ho and the annual Christmas party really let the spirits fly. Tell me your favorite part of camp. Everything! Oh, Camp Kung Ho, that's, uh, it's really fun. You get to be yourself. You don't have to hide, you know, you don't have to be that shy kid in the corner. You could be the loudest kid and no one will make fun of you. It's just you. I could forget that I was burned four years ago, that I could just have fun and be a kid. And now when she talks with another kid uh, has the same problem, she says it's like a family. It's not even my brother, not even my mom. They don't understand exactly what I'm going through. Only another parents for another born survivors. They understand exactly my problem. 
By healing the body, the mind, and the spirit, these children can literally be comfortable in their own skin again, and they can move beyond being merely a burn survivor. With the new hope that you've given them, these children are now burn thrivers. I will be graduating from Children's Burn Foundation this year, and I'm a little nervous and a little sad to be leaving, but I'm planning on volunteering to help other kids that have the same problem I have, or to just help them have a friend. I don't know what Yara would be without the Children's Burn Foundation, but I know with them she's a thriver. The whole family thrives with her. The whole family moves on because we see her happy, and that happiness comes from the Children's Burn Foundation. If you asked me two years ago, I wouldn't, but now I, I am a burn thriver. I'm Connor Thompson, I'm 18 years old, and I'm not just a burn survivor, I'm a burn thriver. Just because I'm a burn survivor doesn't mean I can't do anything else that everyone else is. Yeah, I would consider myself a burn thriver. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because of you, we can give new hope. Thank you.